Now, there is some people that see a Terminator-like uh, kind of scenario, right? Where we basically all either die or become obsolete. And then there is people that tell you, well, you know, it's not going to be AI taking your job, but someone that uses AI better than you. Yes. What do you see? What's happening next? I think you, know, you the pace of innovation around AI is nothing like I've ever seen, right? Um, you look at things like, you know, model context protocol and agents being able to talk to themselves with a level of autonomy. I think those are the types of things that, you know, scare people. You know, is there a Terminator type scenario on the table? I don't, you know, look, I don't, I don't have that level of, of vision or pessimism, right? I don't think that, you know, we're, we're headed in that direction. I think we're headed in a, like, I truly think it's a, it's a better way of life. Like, I just look at the AI tools that I've been leveraging over the last two and a half years. It saves me, you know, 10 to 15 hours a week. Now, am I working less hours? Yeah, like, you know, to a degree. But I'm also focusing my time on, you know, more salient things, right? I get up in the morning. I can quickly see, like, what are the key items I need to follow up on today? What came in overnight that needs to be addressed? You know, that saves, you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes meeting summaries, just simple technology, really simple things that you know, make everyday life you know, much, much easier. I, I said on the panel today, if you really think about the pace of business, right, since 2020, it's increased like tenfold, right? Like the demands, the time, the, the pace at which things move, even within finance, but the technology hadn't caught up, right? So we were working a lot more hours, strenuous hours. You know, AI, I think, alleviates you know, a bit of that gives us back that the one thing that you, you can't really buy is time.